episode of P3 Outdoors. Uh, obviously we're back in the woods. It's the first, I think, real cold front we really had in South Georgia. Uh, so hopefully it's gonna be good. I just pulled the SD card from the truck camera, so I'm gonna go through it real quick and see uh, what's coming through here. Um, like always, Brooke's behind me, and she actually has a, a new camera. So hopefully she wanted to use her phone anymore to capture any deer activity. Um, so hopefully with a little luck, we got a three-day hunt weekend. Um, so hopefully with a little luck, we get something. But um, stay tuned to find out what happens. Hopefully, a big boat's gonna go down this weekend, hopefully. But we will see. All right, here we go. Alright guys, hi, it's Brad. Yes, this video is going to have a lot of explaining going on in it, so get ready for a couple of these uh, voiceovers. So I pause the video here, and we're going to rewind to this moment here. So while making this video, I notice, and you may have as well, something in the background of, besides uh, the doe in the uh, foreground. Upon closer examination, it turns out that there is a decent sized uh, buck in the back. It's, it's one of our younger bucks. Uh, he is a nice little six pointer, very wide, very tall rack. But this one got by me without noticing it. It doesn't have too often. And um, with that being said, we're going to transition to the afternoon right now. Okay, guys, this is the first afternoon of the first day um, this morning. I saw with my two eyes, two deer, about to review in a few footage. Um, I missed a buck in the background. Uh, thankfully, he wasn't a shooter. As you guys already know, you've seen the, you've seen him walk past. Um, I don't know if I missed any more besides him because it's it was still kind of very early in the morning. That's about 105 yards out. I have a pair of binoculars I was scoping out the doe with. But we also focused on her to make sure she wasn't a buck when she was at 60 yards and I could take that shot easily. Um, I just neglected it in the background. It happens. Um, very rarely, though, it happens. So, hopefully, plantation. Um, hopefully, uh, this afternoon we'll, be, we'll have more activity and Brooke will see something, hopefully. Um, but, here goes nothing.
Okay guys, so let's just stop and talk about this clip here. A lot of things just happen really fast. So the 12 point comes out following the spike and then the eight point comes out behind him. The 12 point comes to me and starts going back into the woods. But because the 12 and the eight are so close and because of where I'm at my angle, I really couldn't tell the two deer apart. So I ranged for the 12 or what I thought I ranged for the 12 and actually ranged for the eight. So when I shot, as you saw, the arrow went over the 12 and missed the eight. But I want to talk about that part there. It's bad enough that I missed. Yes, it's bad enough that I missed 12 and I missed range. And I took that shot in the first place. That's bad enough. If we slow it down, the arrow is actually going for the vitals of the eight point, which is fine and dandy. Then all of a sudden it, it, it veers hard left. If we slow down the clip right here and go slow, almost frame by frame, you can see that the deer, the 12 point, catches the arrow in mid flight and slings it hard left. It's once in a lifetime, missing the 12, saved the eight. But with that being said, I'm gonna let the rest of this video play out and so you can see how the rest of this hunt ended because it is still not over, believe it or not. Alright guys, so I don't know what to say. I went back, I showed broke the footage. She actually had another big eight um, 60 yards from you. Um, that never came out. Uh, and you'll see the footage, you already watched the footage. I don't know if I if I was patient longer, he would have come closer. But like I said in the stand, I'm actually now I got my nerves about me, so I probably can talk better than I than I did in the stand, but I had probably over 20 deer on top of me, um, what you couldn't see. 
Uh, I had three or four does stomping at me that I could see out of the corner of my eye, so I really w could not move whatsoever. And he was, he was about actually like 45 yards. And but he looked a lot further because the big eight pointer was behind him, and I thought that big eight pointer turned turn and went the other way. Um, so he was standing a little more quarter than I would normally take a shot at. Um, but there's just an optical illusion while we're sitting at and the deer behind him. I uh, missed him and I missed the eight pointer, thank goodness, behind him as well in the shot. Um, and then he took off. He didn't. He doesn't know where I'm at, which is good because he don't know where that, when the hell that came from or anything. So that that's very good. Um, then the eight pointer kind of turned around as you saw and came back, and he was at 67 yards. So I put my pin at 70 yards and aimed a little low, and I don't know where that arrow went to. I I, I didn't find the arrow, but I looked, looked, and looked very thoroughly. There was no blood. The deer didn't seem injured when he ran off. So that's that's always if you miss, miss cleanly. Uh, that's always a good thing. Uh, the big eight knows where I'm at, but I want that big twelve, so he doesn't know where I'm at. Um, so I don't know what's going to happen. See what the morning brings. Uh, see what the rest of this weekend brings. Um, but yeah, it's very disheartening. But th that's that's hunting. You can't kill them every time you see them, and mistakes happen. And inexperience always plays off. Always, always, you always pay for inexperience in the end. Um, I really never truly bow hunted a lot. Um, but this property as of now in our, in our contract we are we can only bow hunt we can't raffle hunt so uh, those terms are probably gonna be up for negotiation pretty soon um, just by happenstance nothing to involve tonight or whatnot but we still got two more days of hunting which is exciting we got this much action um, and I'm ready to put one on the ground and it's just gonna I just gotta overcome and get it out of my mind tonight what happened. So alright guys, we're gonna end this episode here because there's a lot of stuff to, to cover. Um and we will pick up uh tomorrow in another episode. I hope you enjoy this. Um my heart almost was through my throat. Yours came out of your throat. Uh so just this hunting is very exciting. Um so guys, we'll see you in another episode and we'll continue this hunt tomorrow. As always. Make every adventure one to remember.